We've been experiencing some terrible power outages all over the state, uh, not once or twice, multiple times over the course of the summer, and longer and longer outages each time. And people sustain significant losses. It's not just an inconvenience, you know, for some people, you know, it's a matter of life and death, literally. Uh, and so we wanted to get to the root of the cause and find out what maybe some potential solutions are. Years, my power's been out 15 times. Um, I know that because I have a generator. I'm fortunate enough to have a generator. Um, and I haven't had any real long extended outages, um, but quite frequent outages, and often they're 24 to 36 hours at least. Folks that live in the country, uh, you know, you, you can't go stay in a hotel for three days. You've got animals to take care of. Um, you've got all kinds of obligations. We're without water. Um, our septic systems don't always work. So there are just a lot of issues. So while I think most people in the country are prepared to handle this, the frequency in the last couple of years has just become unmanageable for a lot of people. Um, every one of my power outages, you know, came back from consumers that said it was trees. And I don't doubt that it was trees, but my question is how do we get ahead of this tree trimming? Um, you know, you send tons and tons of crews, get help from outside of the state when there's a problem. Can we get that done? you know, when there's not a storm, instead of waiting and, and putting these people in danger to do it during the storm and get our power back on. So I, I'm not sure that, I mean, to me personally, money doesn't compensate for it. There's a lot of, you know, you, you can't pay me because I couldn't flush my toilets and I couldn't run water um, because I live in the country. But I think everybody would rather, um, than having uh, re being reimbursed for a power outage, we just rather have their power on. But it's the reason for outages can be wide, and I mean it could be rabbits, raccoons, and so forth. Love to uh, to take on our system, and they do bad things. Uh, we've had situations where, after a storm, maybe a week later, the, the trees are weakened during the storm and don't fall. Don't they don't come down? But because they've absorbed so much water and they've gotten weakened, it may be a week later they come down and they cause damage. Um, keep in mind, our system and our equipment is exposed to weather 24-7, 365. So like any equipment, there are failures that occur. We try to do as much preventative maintenance on our system as we possibly can, whether it's our transformers, our boxes, our above ground stanchions, whatever it may be, um, our poles, our cross rubbers. Um, but things fail, and so we try to respond as quickly as possible. It's a myriad of things that, um, from one day to the next, it's always interesting to see how things occur. I know that we are up upsizing our wire, we are upsizing our poles, so as you see new ones go in, they not only will be likely taller to accommodate more of the expansion of broadband that we're seeing uh, throughout, especially the rural areas, but we're also making them thicker so that they'll withstand and stand up to uh, being in the ground and the weathering for a longer period of time. So in all cases, we're trying to strengthen and harden the system. But again, balancing with, with the Public Service Commission when we come before them and have to justify our cost that we're asking for in rates, we're trying to balance all those things and still remain cost competitive um, for you. People are fed up. People are, are, are rightfully uh, upset about what's happening. And, you know, nothing really affects your day-to-day -day life quite the same as losing your power. It affects every single part of your life. There's literally nothing that you can do without having your power. And as more and more people are now working from home, there's no escape. There's no place to go uh, when you've lost your power. And so people are upset and they deserve answers. And that's what we're here to do is to hear their complaints and to see what answers we can provide and to fight for you know, a more reliable source of power and a cheaper one as well because as people know, we are paying far too much in this state for very unreliable energy sources.